Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday evening. Uh, I'm doing okay, feeling better. Um, been working on some things. Um, I got those three uh, shrugs that uh, I got done, and I've been I've got two more in the works. And I made a decision today, actually just a few minutes ago, that I am not going to try to do that parade. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to what I have for my, for the Ugly Fest in October. Um, or if I happen to make any online sales, I would probably do that through Instagram or Facebook Marketplace, maybe. Um, but, uh, or if any of you, you know, would like to have any of the shrugs that I've shown, you know, you can reach me, reach me via email and uh, I would be more than happy to sell one to one of you, you all. Um, but um, I got to thinking about um, what, what, what all going to the parade would entail. I would have to go extremely early to set up and um, get everything set out. And I would have to stay until like probably almost nine o'clock at night. And, um, and unfortunately, this 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 city, Shreveport, has had a rash of shootings in public lately. Um, just random randomness, random shootings and stuff. And um, I already have uh, an anxiety disorder on top of bipolar disorder and PTSD and what have you. So um, my anxiety kind of took over, and and you know, practicality came into play I was like no I'm not gonna subject myself to um, being out in the general public for that length of time amongst a bunch of strangers you know uh, I'm just not comfortable I'm just not uh, ready for that um, that because there's just uh, there's just so many people that go to those parades I mean we're talking thousands of people and um, thousands of unknown people um, and I'm just not, um, I'm not up to that mentally and I, I, and I, I wouldn't be able to just get in my vehicle and come home if, if an anxiety attack hit me, I wouldn't be able to just get in my vehicle and come home because of the parade route and, uh, they block off streets and stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to just, uh, I'd have to have to find a way to get home and, and they're really not an easy way to do that from where I would end up being. Um, even though the place, the place I would be set up at is like five minutes from my house, but because of the parade route and everything, they block everything off and, uh, making it very difficult to get in and out of that area, um, easily. So when you're in the middle of an anxiety attack, all you want to do is get to your safe place, which is home. And, um, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I don't want to set myself up like that but with the ugly fest i would be in a more controlled environment it would strictly be club people um who i'm familiar with um i've you know been around several members they've come over here to help my landlord clean the yard up uh, quite a bit and i've been to different places where they've been and i i know those kind of people and it would be more a, a more controlled environment and uh, they they have security at the gate of the festival, and they don't allow weapons. And um, so it's it's a more controlled environment. So I would feel a lot more safer at the Ugly Fest doing my booth than I would um, at the parade doing a table at the parade. So um, that's why I'm not going to do that. Um, I will uh, probably post some stuff on Instagram and, 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 you know, let folks know on Instagram because I've, I've sold stuff on Instagram before. Um, so I will sell them uh, on Instagram if, if the opportunity arises. Um, but um, otherwise, I'll just hold them for um, inventory, you know, inventory for the, the, the booth in October. So um, that's where I am with that. But I do have two shrugs in the works. I have one in club colors that I'm working on. And I have another one in the neon, uh, the 
red heart neon stripes and uh, I'm working on and I also have a blanket that I restarted I had I had I think I showed this to y'all a little while ago where I was gonna re, gonna start on this blanket again the green the two shades of green and, and the cream color uh, um, but when I went to try to start on it again after it had been late sitting up for you know many months for some reason I just couldn't get the hook in the stitches to, to pick it back up for, I don't know what was going on with it, but for some reason, I just couldn't get it going. So, I scratched it and started the blanket over again. So, there's nothing wrong with the stitch. I love the stitch. Um, it's a ripple stitch. Uh, I guess you could call it that. Um, but I'm loving the stitch. Um it's real pretty, but uh, this is where I got. I went ahead and I kind of re redid the order of the colors: light, dark, white, and then light, and then I'll go dark again, and then white. Um, well, it's not white; it's it's an off-white color. But this is all uh, the Hobby Lobby Crafter Secret yarn for weight, and uh, I switched to from a 5.5 millimeter hook to a six millimeter hook which seems to be making it uh, a little smoother. But uh, I chained 136. So this is gonna be a decent sized um, throw blanket. And if I can hopefully get it done, it's going pretty quick. I did this pretty quickly. I did this bit a, a bit quickly. You know, it, once you get started on it, it goes pretty quickly. Cause it's, you know, it's just all double crochets. So it's very quick. But I'll try to put the tutorial that I got this from. I think I think the channel name is called Play Hooky with Me. I think that's what it's called. But I'll put it in the uh, description box below all my other little stuff. And um, but it's it was super easy to follow. Um, but uh, I, I I enjoy I enjoy working on that one. I'm not a big blanket person, um, especially not. I mean that really looks like a tough stitch, but it's not. It's not obviously I'm doing it can't be too difficult because I don't I like I don't like um crochet acrobats. <laughs> That's what I call some of them stitches that that Crystal with Bag of Day does. She does all, all all that dipping down and grabbing the yarn up and then dipping down and grabbing it and bearing it back up. That's crochet acrobats in my opinion. <laughs> and Amanda does not do crochet acrobats. <laughs> I don't do any of that. <laughs> when you got to do this crisscrossing and, and going back and grabbing stitches from underneath this and all this. And that. No, I don't do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's mind bending and I'm not going to do that. If it doesn't just flow naturally, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Bottom line, I'm not. Because <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be therapy. It's supposed to be therapeutic. It's supposed to be, you know, natural and, and relaxing. Now, if you if you are naturally relaxed by doing all that, go for it. Fantastic. I'm happy for you. That just does not naturally relax me. That naturally frustrates me and aggravates me. So, you know, mm -mm, no. If 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 technical and and complicated stitches is it, it intrigues you and makes you happy, fantastic. I'm happy for you. It's just not it's not for me. I wish I was. I wish I was one of those people that liked the technical and the difficult stitches, but I'm not. I enjoy seeing other people's work and, and other people that do those type things. I enjoy looking at that type stuff, but I don't want to take that on myself because I know that my brain can't wrap around that and I will get frustrated and stressed out and have an anxiety attack. So I'd rather not subject myself to an anxiety attack over it. Uh, so I'll stick to what's simple and what uh, what I can do that's relaxing. So anyway, uh, here is the the one that I've started in club colors. This is the mustard yellow in uh, Premier Basics that I got uh, from uh, my buddy um, Cheryl. Cheryl. This is some of the yarn that Cheryl sent me in this Premier Basics, which I love. Premier Basics yarn. Love it. And this is uh, the uh, mainstays yarn from Walmart. 
in black. And so I'm just alternating. This is 10, 10 rows. This is 10 rows here. And this is up to five here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do 10 in this and then go to 10 here. Because I'm going I'm to do the 37 rows uh, all together. And then the 38th row would be the shell row after I attach the sleeves uh, for the shrug. So um, I hadn't quite decided how many rows of each color I'm going to do yet. I'm still debating on if I'm going to stop at five on the on the black and then go back to the mustard. I hadn't decided yet. But um, I'll decide later <laughs> when I'm in front of the TV. And then I'm not very far with the other one either. Uh, let's see. I'm trying not to. I got it all in the same bucket, so I'm trying not to crisscross anything. But here's the other one that I'm working on. This is how far I've gotten with this one. But now that I'm not doing the parade, which is this Saturday, the first one is this Saturday. Now that I'm not doing that, I can, I, I'm not in a time crunch like I was. So I can relax a little bit. And I did buy some, um, some hair ties, a bunch of those black hair tie things to do some scrunchies myself. So, uh, I'll be doing some of those. And I got, let's see, what else? No, I got some birthday cards to go with Cindy's birthday present that I got to get in the mail tomorrow, probably. Because I wanted to try to get it to her before she goes off on her little trip. It may or may not make it there in time. But, um, uh, hopefully it will. But, uh, that is what I'm up to. <laughs> oh. And I'd like to say welcome to any of my new subscribers. I'm really tickled to have new subscribers. Uh, we still got quite a ways to go before we hit 900. And that 900 subscriber giveaway is looming out there. Uh, I really wanted to draw for that. But I'm going to have to wait till the end of this month. If I don't... if the way I see it, if I, um, if we hadn't reached 900 subscribers by the end of this month, I'm just going to break my own rule and draw for a winner anyway, because it's, it's sitting over there staring at me, that box of goodies. So if we hadn't reached it by the end of this month, um, we'll, I filed Will's taxes for him and he's splitting his income, ref, in, income tax refund with me. So I will have extra for some things. I'm going to get me one of them. Uh, I need I need need it for these wearables that I'm doing, but I need I'm one of them mannequin things you know that you put your garments on like so many other crocheters do have. I, I I seen one at Hobby Lobby one time and then I looked it up on the app to see how much they were and they weren't too bad. So but uh, I just have to go there when I have the money and uh, look. But uh, I looked at Michaels on on their app and they don't have them in store. And you could and you could only order them online, and the ones they had were over two hundred a piece. And I was like, "Oh, that's ridiculous." But um, I don't know. I just want a simple something simple that I can hang hang a garment on, that uh, just a simple you know form that I can hang stuff on, and and showcase it a little better, and take pictures of it a little better, to where people can get a better idea of what it looks like on, uh, because I I don't want to make get into the habit of making all my wearables my size because I know not, not everybody is my size and uh, I like to make smaller items um you know for medium sized people um and make it a little easier because I, I know not ever you know <laughs> I know there's a lot of people my size but I know there's a lot of medium sized people too and so I'd, I'd like to make things you know for those people too so um and this will help me get, you know, when I'm making cardigans and stuff, it'll help me judge, um, you know, how much further to go uh, when I'm making cardigans and, and other things that I really want to tackle. I want to tackle making a Rwanda and other, you know, garments and stuff like that. I'd love to tackle, but I just don't um, have anything to hang them on while I'm working on them to judge size. So, um I, I want to get me one of those uh, mannequin type things that I can hang things on 
to help me, got to guide me when I'm making things a certain size. But um, anyway, I'm hoping that I'll get one of those with my my part of the income tax money. So, and we're gonna try to get um, Johnny a PS5. We're gonna go in together and do that. So he'll get he'll get one before his birthday instead of um, at his birthday. I guess for his birthday we'll get him games for it. Even though, I, from what I understand, his PS4 games should work on it. So, um, hopefully, that's the case. Um, from what I understand, he should be able to play his PlayStation 4 games on the PlayStation 5. So, there's there's that. And, um... They made, they, they made a real nice... They made it real good this time. Instead of having this, the, the hard drive have a spinning disc, it's, it's more like a flash drive. So, it's it's you know, less moving parts on the inside of it, so it'll last longer. So if you know any technical stuff like that, that's you know that's real good that they made them better this time. Um, but anyway, that's what's pretty much going on here. Um, I, I part of part of my depression and part of what's been going on with me is um, there's been a medicine that I've been on for a while that. Um, it's been the dose has been too high and um i i i started I, th I looked at the dose i was supposed to be taking and i wasn't taking what i was supposed to be taking so i had started taking the higher dosage and um thinking that i was doing right and unfortunately the higher dosage was too much and it started causing me to be um too, too, my personality to be too suppressed, to be honest. It, it, it kind of stole my joy, to be honest. It put me in like a, in a, too quiet, too, too, too suppressed. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, I just felt, I don't know, just, just blah, just, just like, like, like I was walking around with a wet blanket on me. You know, like I couldn't really function very well. And so it's been about maybe a week since I lowered the dosage back to the original amount that I was taking and I, when I was doing well. And um, and so I'm starting to come out of it. Um, between that and the weather being really cold there for a long, a long time, I was just had a combination of things going on that was causing me to be really depressed and really... Uh, just like a wet blanket. I don't know how else to explain it because I'm usually a very outgoing and friendly and happy-go-lucky person. And then all of a sudden, I just didn't feel like that at all. And I was like, what is going on? And so it was a combination of things because uh, the cold weather really hurts me physically. And you can't be happy-go-lucky when you hurt physically. It's just impossible. And there's only so much over-the-counter medicine you can take. And um, I don't take heavy duty pain medicine. I don't, you know, partake in other types of medication um, because I, d I just don't, don't like to do things like that. But, uh, so there's only so much relief I can, I can actually get. And um, it is just chronic. It's, it's in my spine, it's in my legs, uh, it's everywhere. So, um, and then the medication being too much. So um, now that the weather is better, hopefully for a while, um, but we still got the rest of this month to go. And then March, March, you know, this we are spring. So we got the rest of this month to go and then probably half the next month before we really start seeing the warm up go coming. And um, so if we can make it through that without another really bad cold front, I'd be really happy. <laughs> I really, really don't like cold weather at all. It really is painful and really doesn't do my brain too good. But uh, I know I had a couple of emails uh, from some concerned family members, which is what I call my subscribers, and my family members, a couple of concerned family members you know, wondering what was going on with me. Well, that's what's been going on. Over A little over-medicated. 
and and then the weather was really bad and and causing me to hurt and um so that's what's kind of messed with my personality a bit but i'm just about back to normal and um and i'll be fine <laughs> i'll be fine it just uh one of those things i just got to find my joy again and um i'll get there it just uh it's hard when you when you suffer mental illness and you're trying to find the right uh, medication combination. Uh, sometimes that can be very difficult when it has to be adjusted and um, it messes with your brain chemistry and therefore your personality. So um, those, you know, I know a lot of y'all understand that because a lot of y'all are in the same boat. Um, but uh, anyway, I think that's about all I got for today. I hope all y'all have a wonderful evening. I'm going to go uh, take my crochet to the living room and work on it. And uh, watch some other some of my other <laughs> YouTubers' videos. <laughs> but by the end of the month, if, uh, you know, whether I'm at 900 or not, by the end of the month, I think I'm going to go ahead and draw the winner for that uh, 900 subscriber winner. Uh, I'm at, I think, uh, 828 or something like that. So, I don't care. Uh, whether I'm at 900 or not, at the end of the month, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a winner. And um, and 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 get us a winner and, and probably do some other giveaways when I get my other money, you know. Because um, cause I can. <laughs> and y'all know how much I love doing that. But right now, it's... it's uh, it's it's crunch time with the money. We got to buckle down and not do any extra spending. But uh, that's such is life. But uh, I love y'all and so does Jesus. Please remember to adopt. Don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. So uh, see y'all next time. Bye now.